Alright, out here at the garden this morning. Looks like we got a rain last night. That's always a good thing. I'm going to pick a few of these old suckers off of here. That's what all old folks say. Now, you can root these things and start a whole new clone of these things. I got a couple over there in a container rooting. That tomato plant right there, the top broke out of one of my tomato plants, and that's the top. I rooted it, and it's already got blooms on it. So it ain't no problem to root these things. A little trick I do is uh, whenever you go to root it, take that stem and rake it off a little bit on that, on that I guess you'd call it the bark. Rake that bark off a little bit, and uh, that'll help the roots come out better. See, I let some of these suckers get by me, like this one right here. It's a big one. I may go ahead and take it off too. They claim it makes you grow a lot bigger tomatoes. I don't know if I had the camera on it, but see, that's a big old sucker. Suckers are the ones that come out in between you leaf. And it looks like something's been gnawing on these. Might have got a hornworm or something. If it had been a hornworm, it'd probably ate the whole plant. I got some uh, seven dust. Tr trouble is now this would be an easy one this would be a good candidate for rooting big as it is I might show y'all how to do that for the time being I'll just lay it on the ground problem with putting my seven dust on today is it looks pretty rainy we'll just turn around and wash it right back off just looking for them old suckers see that's a sucker that I'll let grow but I'm just going to leave it this one right here. It's a good idea to cut the old leaves off. It's down touching the ground. Once you got enough leaves, they say don't you can cut up 30% of them. It'll be all right. So I may take these off. These leaves look pretty bad here, so they ain't doing a whole lot anyway. They ain't happening at none, so don't want to get no blight or nothing like that started. I'm just going to get rid of any of them that look crappy. It's down low because these plants done got up pretty good size. There's another big old sucker right here. I'm going to get rid of it. they hard to tie your plants good, too, when you get a lot of them big old suckers on them. So it's going, I'm going to root it in any puny plants I have. I'll replace with them. hard to see what I'm doing. I know it's hard to hold this camera. Do all this at the same time. That's another sucker right there. Guess I can get rid of it. There's one coming out down at the ground, see? It just helps concentrate the energy to the top of the plant. Not to have so many of them on there. I don't know why some of these leaves are rolling up. Hope I didn't overdo it with that nitrogen. Some of these bottom leaves trying to roll up. Get rid of them. That one's touching the ground over there. You can't really see what I'm doing very good, but you get the idea. Now that's where that broke off, see, and it just happened to have one sucker on it, so it's coming up. It's gonna be all right. 
That sucker's growing out. We got some squash over there already. They're about ready to pick too. It's about looks like two of them. Had a pepper come in yesterday. There's a few small tomatoes already starting to form I've seen here and there. But anyway, I'm just gonna keep doing this. So I ain't gonna keep filming because yeah, you can see some of them small tomatoes over there. Maybe you can see them. Try to zoom in if I can, my fingers is wet. That's supposed to be like them little old bitty kind of tomatoes on that. And so we'll see how it do. Anyhow, I'm gonna get off this camera. It's gonna get pretty redundant.